Charlie, you don't have to be nice to me. I know, but hey, it's free, so why not? Hey, thanks, Aunt Dorian. And that'll go well in my big book of blackmail. We're talking about a repeat offender. I can't believe I call you kissing again, Aunt Dorian. We weren't kissing. Yeah, no, no, we, we definitely weren't, Jack. What you saw is not what it looked like. Looked like it was getting hot and heavy in here to me. Excuse me. Uh, you would not know hot and heavy if it hit you on the head. And that's what I am going to do if you don't desist from prying on my private life. If you want a privacy, you should have gotten a room. Jack, that's enough. Give me the camera. What do I get for it? Did you think I'm going to give you something for that? Ca Hand it over. This is a negotiation. My dad taught me how. Rule number one, deal from strength. I'm strong and you're weak. So let's start the bidding at a dirt bike. Oh, is this a negotiation? OK, how about rule number two? You mess with your Aunt Dorian, and she is going to mess with you. Rule number 15. Use the power of competition. Jack, if your aunt won't play ball, I will. Todd, I should have known you were behind Jack's tabloid inclinations. Wait till Blair hears about this. Are you going to tell on me? I'm the one she wants to rat out. That won't matter. She thinks this is all very funny. It's not going to matter, is it? Because soon you're going to be punished for what you did to Marty Saybrook, and you'll be in prison, deep in the recesses of Statesville. My dad's innocent. If you don't want to follow in your dad's footsteps, I suggest you learn that there are a few little things called rules. All civilized societies have them, and in this house, rule number one is no blackmail allowed. But you kissing Uncle Charlie is cool. I just want to make sure. God. I hope you didn't do that for your sake. You know, I don't remember hearing Dorian invite you into her home. Oh, no, she didn't. And I usually stay where I'm not wanted, but you and I have a big day together, right? All right, let's do it. So what do you think I should ask for in changing the picture? Pretty good, huh? The lighting was perfect. Hey, you deleted it. Yeah, yeah, I did. You get an A for initiative, but an F for risk-taking. What? <clears throat> You're a little young to be mixing it up with Dorian. She'll eat you alive. I just hate that that sociopath is running around loose, able to influence my nephew, Chip. There ought to be a law. Look, Dorian, what they did is not important. I'm a little more concerned about what you almost did to me. You're talking about, would you like some tea? Don't do this, Dorian. Sweetener, honey, sugar. No, I don't want any tea. OK, you're a coffee drinker. Dorian, I don't want coffee either. Admit it. If Jack had just walked in, you would have kissed me. I was about to kiss you? Charlie, what gave you that idea? Well, it was pretty obvious. Oh, for heaven's sake. You're a married man. Yeah, and sometimes I think you forget that. And sometimes I think you forget the hell we went through. It's only natural that we might have become closer. That's what this is, hmm? We went through hell together on that mountain looking for Mitch. I don't think anybody else could understand that. Not David, and most certainly not Vicky. Dorian. Charlie, you were devastated by your son's death. And for myself, the thought that Mitch was going to hurt my girls, I would have traded my soul to end his life. So that's what this is. You think you found a, a fellow lost soul on the road to damnation? Charlie. You were willing to do anything to protect the people that you love. That makes you a very good man. And if somehow I ever did develop feelings for you, hey, 
You love Vicky, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for all your hard work and your good ideas. Look, Dorian, I know this really nice guy. He's single, he's got a great sense of humor. Charlie, it... are you trying to set me up? Well, I just thought that maybe you'd like to meet someone new. <laughs> I know. It, it may look as if I'm experiencing sort of a dry spell, especially since my <laughs> last romance was that well-publicized relationship with a woman, a foe romance as it were no 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 i i i am just fine thank you i am uh, not uh, <clears throat> on the market but um thanks so much for the thought okay i'm sorry <sighs> whatever for no i mean i overstepped i i should realize that you and david vickers have a a thing right <laughs> David and I had many, many things. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I wasn't sure. There was so much speculation and talk about it last night. Um... Last night? People mm. were talking about my love life. Mm. Oh, really? And in what context? Oh, well, you know, David officiated at the wedding. Because he's back in town, you know. Officiated at the wedding? Oh, he sure did. He made quite an impression, too, yeah. Oh, uh -huh, I'm sure. <laughs> Who'd he bring? Well, actually, he was alone. I mean, I think that's what kind of fueled all the talk about, you know, you and him maybe mm. being, what's the term, I down am, low. Oh, whatever. You know, I'm sure he wanted me to be his date, but uh, I tell my staff never to put his calls through. <laughs> huh. well, Poor he, guy. I bet he was morose all night, right? Well, he sure seemed bound and determined not to let your snub get to him. In what way? Well, I mean, he just danced up a storm at the reception. Oh, with whom? Well, with Vicky, for one. David and Vicky dancing together, there's a pretty sight. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, there has been this really irritating bond between the two of them over the years. And then I figured it out. Yes, they were only doing it to get at me. Oh, oh, they just love to get under my skin. Well, I think there's a little bit more to it than that. Like what? Their mutual love of skincare products and hard-hitting reportage? Charlie, I know you love Vicky, but she's got a mean streak in her. In fact, I wouldn't put it past her to use what's happened to Langston against me and, and smear it all over the banner. I'm going over there and warn her that she better not do anything of the sort. Taking deep breaths in and out. Ah, and in and ah. How do you feel? Talk to me, are you okay? Don't stop. Yes, Highness, in. Uh, oh. oh, God, David. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, David. Oh, David.